All right, we have how many milliliters, so the unit here is milliliters, are in 6.25 liters. All right, let's remember King Henry doesn't, that's Deca, usually drink chocolate milk. All right, so here I go. The first thing I'm going to do to convert these measurements is to start with my given unit. Okay, the given unit that I have is 6.25 liters. All right, so I'm going to start with that 6.25 liters. Now, when changing units, we have to multiply by the correct ratio. Okay, so let's multiply. I have milliliters and liters. When I'm doing this, I have to make sure that liters cancels out. So the correct ratio has to have liters in the denominator so they can cancel. So I have right here liters and then milliliters will go right here. The two units I was dealing with are milliliters and liters and I have to figure out what order to put them in. The order goes so that the denominator is actually the starting unit that you have so that they cancel out so that you can convert to milliliters because when I do that the liters will cancel out and I'll only have milliliters and that's what I want okay now this next step you have to listen very carefully I look at which unit milliliters or liters is actually greater okay and the greater units are furthest to the left so which unit is furthest to the left by the way unit is L okay I have milliliters the M there and the unit the L right there so which one is greater it's the L okay so it's the liter I'm gonna put a one right there okay always put a one next to the greater unit now I'm going to count over to get to the M and when I count every space I move I'm going to multiply by a power of 10 okay so I'm gonna go from L to M here I go 10 100 1000 so there are 1000 milliliters to 1 liter and you've seen this fact before you've been given 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters that's how they got that fact they just did what I did just now okay all right so let us now begin to convert this measurement all right I know the answer is going to be milliliters so I'll write that on my answer line right away now what am I starting with I'm starting with 6.25 so I'm gonna write that down next I'm multiplying by power of 10 that's in the numerator if I'm multiplying by a power of 10 in the numerator, I'm going to move the decimal point to the right. Okay? And here, I'm going to move it one, two, three places to the right because I have three zeros. So let's move that decimal point three places to the right right now. Once, twice, three times to the right. That's the new decimal point, and I put the zero right there. So far, I have 6, 2, 5, 0, and the decimal points at the end. Now, I have a 1 in the denominator. 1 doesn't do anything, so I'm not going to move the decimal point at all. The answer stays the same, so the answer is 6, 2, 5, 0 milliliters. Put, put in your commas. 1, 2, 3, hook, and there we go. Don't when you're calculating please try to not put commas in your work because you will confuse it for um, for decimal points put your commas only in at the very end on the answer line so don't use any commas in your work over here okay so I just converted 6.25 liters to milliliters and there are 6250 milliliters in um, 6.25 liters okay all right let's move on to the next problem using the same strategy we used before King Henry doesn't usually where the units will be either liter 
gram or meter. But we're talking about capacity, so we'll talk about liter. Um, doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. All right. How many liters, so I have liters, are in 32 milliliters? So I have 32 milliliters. All right. First step, what am I given? I'm given 32 milliliters. I'm trying to change it to liters. So I know my answer is going to be liters. All right. Let's start with 32 milliliters. And whenever you want to convert units, you always multiply by the correct ratio. Now, because I want milliliters to cancel out, the milliliters has to go right there. And the other unit I was dealing with is liters. So that goes right there. The ratio matters, OK? All right. Which one of these is greater, the liters or the milliliters? The liters. So I'll put a 1 there. And let's start at liters and count to get to the M. Every time you move, it's a power of 10. So multiply by 10. 10, 100, 1,000. So there are 1,000 milliliters there. OK? All right. Now what will happen is the milliliters will cancel out. And we are starting with 32. Now the decimal point in 32 if you never see the decimal point, it's always invisibly to the right of the end of the number. So it's right there. Okay? If when you see a number, there is no decimal point, the number is always to the right, invisibly. So you write it in. Now, I'm multiplying by 1. It means I don't do anything. Now I look in the denominator now. Now, I'm in the denominator, so I'm going to move in what direction? Left or right? If a power of 10 is in the denominator, I'm going to move to the left. Good. All right, if a power of 10 is in the numerator, I'm going to move to the right. All right, but there are no zeros here, so I don't move. All right, let's look at this dividing by 1,000. I move three places, one, two, three places to the left, because that's in the denominator. Once, start there, once, twice, three times. New home for the decimal point is right there. And how many whole units do I have? None, so I'll just put a zero in front there. And the answer is 0 0.032 liters. And I'm done. Or 32 thousandth liters. OK? And that's how you convert units. Let's do one more word problem. Remember this? King Henry doesn't usually, where for capacity it'll be liters, drink chocolate milk. All right, here we go. Mia Michaels, a judge on So You Think You Can Dance, has 0 0.37 liters of water. How many milliliters, this is another unit, does she have? All right. So I'm trying to get to milliliters, so I'll put that there on the answer line. Let me write what I start with. I start with 0 0.37 liters. It's really important that you don't move any decimal points until you actually start multiplying. Okay? Then I multiply by the correct ratio of units. What do I want to cancel out? Liters. So liters has to go here and milliliters goes on the top. Okay? Next, which unit is greater? Liters or milliliters? Liters, because it's furthest to the left. So I'll put a one there. Let's count to see how many milliliters are in one liter. Ten. 100, 1,000. There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. All right, now I begin to multiply. Before I do that, the liters cancel out. Here I go. Start with 0 0.37. When you multiply by a power of 10 in the numerator, you move the decimal point to the right. How many zeros do I have? 1, 2, 3. So I'll move the decimal point three places to the right. One, two, three. The new home for the decimal point is there, and I'll add in a zero. Then I'm dividing by one. That doesn't do anything. So the answer is um, 370 with a decimal point there. We, we don't write this zero because it's leading off the whole numbers. If it were to the right of the decimal point, then we write the zero. All right, 370 milliliters.